Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. So as part of uh, this video and uh, sub few subsequent videos, we will be primarily talking about uh, Python fundamentals. So here is the agenda, we will start with introduction, we will try to set up Python, uh, I will give you some instructions setting up Python and then we will get started with uh, REPL uh, basic programming constructs functions and lambda functions, collections, list set, dict are the three primary collections in python and then basic map reduce operations and then basic io operations. This is just to uh, revise uh, the python basic programming concepts uh, for spark perspective especially from certification perspective. This is not complete python course uh, but even if, for those who doesn't have much of a knowledge about python it will give you fair, fair insights about uh, the components that are required from python perspective to start writing a bit of spark based applications using python as programming language so python is interpreter based programming language so there is no compiling in in case of python you just create the files and uh, you you run those files using python command and python command will interpret uh, the the instructions that are there in the python file and it will execute those things adaptability of python is very high in data engineering and data science fields uh, spark apis are very well integrated with python it is highly relevant for clouder and hotworks uh, spark certifications you can learn python and then you can prepare uh, for certification by understanding uh, spark apis and you can go ahead and give the certification from certification perspective uh, choosing python um, uh, you can comfortably uh, prepare and uh, 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 give the certification with a good amount of confidence if you know python now coming up uh, setting up python if you are using mac it is pre-installed uh, but if you need additional packages, better to install pip following instructions. Just to Google for uh, installing pip on Mac and it might give you uh, proper instructions about how to set up pip on Mac. Even on Linux, Python is pre-installed. Again, if you need pip, you just have to search for the instructions and uh, uh, in install as per the instructions. For Windows, Google for uh, install Python on Windows and install using MSI. It's not very difficult. Uh, there is MSI uh, and uh, you just download it and you double click it and you go ahead and uh, um, uh, set up using typ a typical Python installation. If you are preparing on labs uh, which are provided by us which is ITVersity, um, Python and PIP are pre-installed. You don't need to do anything else. As long as you have subscription uh, for a month or quarter or half year, whatever subscription you have, you can uh, uh, log into the lab by going to labs.itvarsity.com and uh, then uh, log in whatever email ID you have, uh, log in using whatever email ID you have used while signing up for the lab and you will get the credentials like this. And then either using PuTTY or uh, uh, Linux terminal or Mac terminal or Sigwin on Windows, you can use this information, uh, username and password and uh, you can do SSH command. Also there is a open console here, you can click on that. It will open up the, uh, 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 the terminal uh, on uh, in the browser itself sometimes if it does not prompt you for the username you just close it and click on open console again and it will open okay and then this is the username and this is the password copy the username once you copy make sure you click here and make sure the cursor is bold and then paste it using command v and then copy the password and paste it the paste the password here and boom you are in the lab some of the old versions of mac um, this uh, username and password 
uh, or this this utility will not work as part of the safari if it does not work try to use it on chrome or firefox most likely it will work okay so now i am in the lab and you can launch python by saying python and hit enter also if you are using mac you can also use terminal okay if you don't see terminal as part of the dock you can go to spotlight search and search for terminal and uh, it will open up the terminal so instead of using uh, the web console it's better to use terminal it, it is a bit more stable if you are using windows uh, you will not have terminal like this either you have to use powershell or sigwin or putty whatever tool you are comfortable with and then uh, you can connect to the lab using uh, ssh the username and the gw01.itversity.com is the password sorry uh, is the host name and the password you will get it from here either here or from here you 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 can use the password and uh, you will be inside the lab i have configured passwordless login that's why it is not prompting for the password uh, otherwise it will prompt for the password you just have to paste it uh, from here in case if you have any issues relating related to logging in uh, just go to discuss.itversity.com and then uh, 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 click on new topic make sure you choose uh, appropriate category in this case big data labs if it is related to uh, ability to log into the lab and create the topic and uh, you uh, we will try to help you as quickly as possible that being said i'll be using the uh, terminal not the web console uh, from now on and i can use python to launch the python and uh, we are good to go we can start developing the programs in this this is called as repl i will cover it in a moment okay so if you want to build applications uh, better to install IDE such as PyCharm, but for certifications, uh, you don't need to set up IDE and all. It's better to prepare using REPL, which I have shown you, uh, rather than using IDE. It will keep things uh, simple um, when you try to give the certification. So, REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, and Loop. Uh, so, if you give a command, let's say print hello world. So REPL can actually read this, evaluate it, uh, print the output and then again um, it is looping uh, uh, to accept new commands. So this is called as REPL. Uh, historically it is also called as command line interface. It is not new to Python even with Oracle uh, there is something called SQL plus and most of the um, uh, m m most of the softwares or uh, programming languages these, th these days are giving this command line interface or REPL. Okay, and as I have shown here, uh, you just type Python. If Python is installed, it will launch the REPL. Uh, if you want to clear the screen, just hit Ctrl L and it will clear the screen in Python. If you want to exit from it, just say exit uh, with the circular brackets or uh, control D. Once you launch Python, if you need help on a particular uh, command, you can just pass it as a string, pass the string as command and it will give the details about uh, the command. So type is a uh, class which takes object and, uh, uh, and you can see there are multiple functions that are already defined on that uh, uh, class type q to quit and uh, if you want to get the history you can use up arrow and go to the history and you will see the history only for this session you will not uh, see the past history and again if you want to exit from it just say exit with circular brackets so that being said uh, this as part of this video we have covered introduction and uh, setting up python and also REPL. we will see a few more things as we proceed further